what the digital world allows uh, designers to do is to break free from those chains of, of conforming, conforming to the tools that they have in the real world. You know, with this uh, technology, um, possibility is endless. So, you know, when you have less uh, limit, you become more creative. With the digital world, you can do whatever you want. I mean, if you're a creative designer, it, you're only limited by how creative you are. If we look at the state of affairs today, where audiovisual technology of computer games has really started to approach what we see in the real world, then it becomes uh, similarly important to take cues from the fashion world on what to do with all that technology. Because EVE is thousands of years in the future, we would like to create fashion collections that are inspirational to people that live in today's society. And even though we are inspired by trends that go on in today, we would like to push the boundaries and create fashion that is something that is cutting edge and forward thinking, similar to the technology that we are using. Collaborating with designers for CCP is exciting and it brings people who work in fashion into a new environment and this is the first time that this has ever happened. I think creativity is, um, for me is just collaborating and making mistakes and just pushing and just, you know, making it better and better and better. So, well, I think we kind of did a pretty good job for our first trial, I think. <laughs> but the great thing about it, if you don't like it, we just change it, you know. It's like, you know, when you do your avatar, you, you, you don't want to look exactly like yourself. You want to look a, a better looking version of yourself. So it's that kind of thing. So, you know, when I designed the, the jacket and the pants, you know, I wanted to be a jacket that I would wear, but, or what Rico would wear, but a little bit pushed in. And with the environment in, in mind, we made it a little bit sci-fi. Working with Nicola was great. We had such a narrow timeline to get stuff done. So we got on Skype together and we were going back and forth. Fiona was like drawing da, 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 on the spot. And then a few minutes later, you have like the, the thing. And I'm like, wow, you know, I want to use her for everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Normally, you know, when you, when you design, you get a sample back and you kind of feel it and you kind of do a fitting and you try to like change the, the proportion or... But with this, I couldn't do that. So it was very, very strange. But when you, you know, when you see it so like, you know, 3D, like kind of moving, it almost feels like you're, you know, you're, you're touching it, you know? and it's alive in a way. So, it was, yeah, it was a very strange feeling. CCP has the most advanced technology out there, which is carbon technology. We are able to completely mimic the cloth simulation, what happens within fabric. Really, I call it digital couture, or it's elegant technology. You know, it, it matches the level of high fashion. designer point of view, obviously making the clothing in this kind of way is very, very useful because now you can do a um, variation of this, different colors, different, you know, you can just, with a with click of a button, you can probably change, do different things, so that's great. It opens up a new window to step outside the box and, and, to, and to explore into the other realms. Uh, it's just a different experience, I guess. Like today was great, you know, we did, you know, those crazy technology thing and then we showed it in, a, in an environment where people could play and, you know, interact and talk about, you know, him in front of it and like taking pictures and it's like, it's obvious that this is going to be the future, but what is it? As we are growing with the technology and learning what we can do with fashion, we're also learning and discovering all these new possibilities. I mean, if you could make your own avatar, and if you could dress yourself up, I think people will be buying um, virtual goods, virtual jackets that are designed by different people, and uh, I think that would be really exciting. 
In the future, we will have entire fashion shows. We will be able to show entire collections on your iPad. And as a consumer, you will be able to uh, interact with the fashion in a way that most consumers cannot interact with on a store level. Yeah, I'm sure um, not so far away. I'm sure people will be really embracing this world for sure. Five years ago, not all of us were on Facebook, but now, you know, everyone has their own profile, and that is a way how people, how we communicate with each other and how we share with each other. It's not too outrageous to think that many of us will have digital avatars of ourselves, and that's how we interact with the other people. And once you have that, then of course you want to individualize and personalize your avatar because that is, you know, how you represent yourself to the community. Thank you.